Welcome back, everybody, to Uncle Karius. I need to, like, remove some of this stuff. I'm just carrying it around. I don't even know why. So, thanks to some of you in the comments last episode, I have been told a way that I can get some worms. Even though it's not so common, we're going to try it anyways. We need flower shoes. Flower shoes. Can we make them? Sorry, flower boots. Oh, my gosh. That costs so much. And then we can use our golden net exactly what we're gonna do does this is this a material i really wish there was a mod that kind of you know utilized boots a little bit more besides calamity i mean i guess there's this thorium but like bro have you seen some of the boots some of them are whack like why would you replace them why would you replace them i feel like for thorium they should pretty much be you know the hermes boots all of them and then have a little buff on the side you know they're just worth some gold you gotta pay up the gold for them i don't know I want, I want boots to be incorporated more. I want shields to be incorporated more. Shout out Juice. We'll be seeing something soon about that. But yeah, moving on. We're going to we're gonna do this little strat here. And uh, let me actually... Let me think about this. How do we want to do this? Let's pro probably do it like this. Voice crack. If I stand right here... Yeah, that's not going to work. If I stand right here... And we put on the boots. And then we just go like this. Will we eventually catch some worms? Now, I was told that, yes, worms do spawn from grass. I was told. I didn't look it up. But it's rare. Compared to uh, the other thing. Bro, I wish monsters weren't bothering me all the time. We've caught in two grasshoppers so far. <laughs> uh, how many worms did we need? It was a lot. I think it was at least 100. Oh, man. <laughs> It really doesn't help that I'm always getting attacked by monsters. Even though I have a peace candle and I have sunflowers, but you know, monsters don't care. Why don't we just do this over and over again? Bro, I feel like worms don't spawn from this, and I feel like I've been told lies. Because I feel like we would at least caught a single worm. We've only caught three grasshoppers, too, which is the weird part. I know there was an easier way to do this, but we're just testing it out in general first. Make sure that it works. I don't know, man. I may have been told some fibs. Somebody be fibbing to me. I'm going to look into it real quick. All right. We got a little better uh, system set up here. It says that you can't catch worms. But, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like this isn't the fastest method for it. There's another way we can't do it, and that's with the actuators. But I think that one might take a little bit longer doing it like that. Oh. We caught one worm. It's been like five minutes, but we caught one worm. But uh, let me see something here. Another method I saw was a flail. Because flails go pretty fast. <laughs> it's got to be a modded flail, I'm assuming. Uh, well, no, obviously not, because people did in vanilla. But I'm going to use a modded flail. Hopefully this doesn't kill anything. I can only hope. I keep on doing like little silent burps. Oh, there you go. That one was loud. I'm sorry. Excuse moi. There's one worm. The bees kill the worms, so that ain't a good sign. I mean, this is a way faster method than this, though. I'll tell you that. Bro, like, I don't get it sometimes. In the video? Maybe it's... Yeah, I don't know, man. We need a flail that can do that. We need a flail that goes at that speed. It's weird, I have auto swings, so I think the flails would work a little bit better. Uh, what about if I just... When if I just use the obsidian fish? When if I just do that over and over again? <laughs> Bro, this is slower than the other thing. Nah, that's definitely gonna kill some shit. What about this? No? No, <laughs> that's not gonna work. I don't know, I don't really feel like sitting here all day. But I really wanted to make this cape of worms. I don't know why I want to make it so badly. It's not like we need it right now. But anyway, moving on. We're going to fight the cooler. And hopefully get some more weapons. Uh, hopefully not duplicates. So let's see if we can make any more ice worms. They're not called ice worms. Icy worms. Oh, we definitely can. Let's definitely make three. And then let's get some chest. So yeah, we're going to start the episode with this. I mean, a scarlet chest. Actually, scarlet chest is pretty rare. Pretty rare. Let's use this treasure chest because I crafted that. But yeah, 
let's do this i actually have a new mouse it's a steel series let me look at the box just in case because i know people always like to ask me for specs and stuff it's a steel series sensei sensei 310 not sensei I have multiple senseis sensei all right um yeah fuck it let's just do it might as well we should not have problems against the cooler the boss still hits hard though don't get me wrong this boss this boss got some Oh boy, clean, clean on the jumps. But yeah, we're just gonna chill back, you know. Let let my boys and my bees in the hook do all the work. Oh shit! Don't do that. Don't do that. We need to do more stuff. I really gotta look into buffing our weapons, man. I might do that this episode. We'll look. We'll see. Cause I feel like, or not my weapons, my accessories. I feel like I could really increase our damage a lot with the right accessories. I just gotta understand because I still don't fully understand the uh, what the accessories do. People told me Bob Speed uh, does how how fast it ticks is what some people told me. And yeah, that makes sense. So maybe I should look in trying to upgrade our Bob Speed and maybe get rid of uh, this the tackler bag and maybe definitely get rid of the worm aside. The worm side is gonna be like a like one or two time thing. I'll test it out on uh, the Eater Worlds though. We'll test it out on him. Oh, I didn't think he would drop down here. I thought I was going to do like some clean juke on him. Bro, this is so much faster than the original fight. That original fight. How long was that original fight? The first time we fought him, it was like 10 minutes. All right, it wasn't that long. It was like five minutes, which is long for pre hard mode boss. All right, come on. Cough up a new weapon, bro. Come on. He's fibbing out here, man. I don't know why I said he's fibbing. He's playing jokes out here. Oh, we do need that for the future. So it's good that I have two of them. So I'm going to cut fighting these two. And uh, we'll just open up treasure bags. No, I noticed something when fighting this boss. Look, I can just drag his ass around. <laughs> oh, God, don't drag him into you, though. I can just drag that boy around like nothing. Like he's a little, little B word. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that word. All right, so let's open up these treasure bags. Got the same damn loot. Except for the popsicle, obviously. Melon brand. Those melon slices on swing. That sounds amazing. That sounds del delicious. All right, let's see here. We don't want decisive, bulky. No. Unpleasant damage. Uh, can we get like a damage buff? There we go. Deadly. 33 damage. Wow, we got three damage from that. It's not bad. Uh, let me sell something here. Sell that. All right. So, peep it. Peep it. Oh, my God. Look at the melons, bro. We're getting rid of the soda for the melons. Bye-bye, soda. Hello, melons. I know, I know you guys. That's that's a phrase that's going to go down in Game Raiders history. All right, let's fight an actual boss, though. So, we're going to test the Wormicide on Eater of Worlds. And then, I think we're going to take on some boss. I don't, know, I don't know what fucking boss we can fight. I'll be honest. Pshh. Jensen maybe Jensen might not be too bad peace offering I think we can actually make a peace offering right now let, let me attempt it what am I missing come on bro oh, just sun plate blocks I think we can make sun plate blocks come on bro <laughs> all right let's go ahead and try and grab some of this beautiful sun plate uh oh he's going down please 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 <laughs> no god damn it all right, we'll try this again. Hopefully this time it doesn't go down. You know, in the middle of us almost being there. But yeah, we need 10 sun plate. Bro, you can't even make it up there. What the heck? Hey, chill out, though. I thought this B was OP, if you know what I'm saying. All right, let's try again. Oh, probably because I didn't give him a break. Does he need a break? Oh, he's good now. I think. I don't know. <laughs> You should be good. It's not even that high. Yeah, okay. I just didn't give him a break the first time. I was about to say, like, how in the hell did I not make it up there? So let's go ahead and you know, grab some wood. Wood's always... Hey! Chill out, bro. All right. You gotta die. You die into the melons. Oh, perfect. Okay, we have more than one boss to fight. That's a good thing. You know, might as well collect some grasshoppers. Damn, that worm got some air right there. Somebody, like, message me. Let me just look at it real quick. Real quick. All right. Um, so... I don't know if I ever looted up here. No, I never did. I discovered it, but never looted it, huh? 
So let's do one, ten. <laughs> that should be fine. Uh, so get rid of the stuff we don't need. Hold on to the jewel crown. This, we're going to put this in here instead of the ice machine. Just for now. Is this used for anything? Should I sell it? It's not used for anything I need. So we're going to sell it. Uh, the worm will keep... I mean, might as well keep the chest. And then obviously hold on to that. So, jewel crown. Danger star fury. And now we can make a peace offering. Boom, bada, bing. Things are looking good. Uh, I think we're going to fight this guy first. But before we do that, obviously there's some stuff I want to make. Let's look at hooks. This one. This is what we're going to start with. This. Boom, bada, bing. Probably replace that. I mean, obviously we're going to keep it though. And then what else can I make? Hook set. Obviously can't make that. The heavenly hook. Yeah. We don't get that for a while. Same thing with the super barbed one. Which we might be able to get that early i could totally try and get that early if i wanted to we might have to i don't think i've ever seen the uh jungle though is my or not jungle the temple though so that might be a problem there's all this water everywhere too which doesn't help Ew, you know what i'm saying Ew. what other accessories can i put there what's this one increased fishing damage no that one's kind of useless double lure like these are useless for me right now like, I have no point. I don't know. That might just be fine. <laughs> just hold on to the worm aside for now. Might as well. No problem there. We can do this. Maybe that directly attack us will be burned. We could put that instead. Uh, Probably should just replace it now since we're not fighting a worm en enemy. I will fight a worm enemy eventually. I'm having trouble talking. What's on my back? That. Ooh, that looks really cool. <laughs> I didn't know this would that what that looks like so i'm not gonna fight this yet until the next day because i have no idea if uh jensen despawns or not but we will fight this one i'm gonna do some uh, reforging real quick and i'll meet you guys in the skies all right so we're ready to run some cheeks i hope the game is loud i think it's just my headphones are really low but uh let's do this shall we bust some potions because our girl alice is in here not actually my girlfriend, believe it or not. I just called her my girl, just like I called the boys my boys. No homo. Alright, I don't know where the fuck this dude's at. This boss actually hits kind of hard, so probably shouldn't mess around too much with this. We're just going to hook him and see what we can do with the hook on him. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. We don't play around out here. We well, he ain't playing around with the damage out here. Dude lost 2k health in seconds. I got a burp. Burp. I tried to cover it. I'm sorry. I know some people get mad when I burp. But I'm drinking I'm drinking some stuff that makes me burp acid. That's what I'm drinking. Just burping out acid bubbles. It fucking burnt my nose off. That shit hurt. Don't drink acid. <laughs> Alright. But look how fast this is going. We got the um, increased fishing crit by 10%, which I'm probably critting him a lot. 10% is a decent amount. If we did 100 fishing damage. 10% that's gonna be 110 fishing damage. <laughs> I think that's how it works. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. 100% uh, possible that I'm stupid. But can we fight? If we can fight Jensen. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. His cheeks smacking time. Some of this. That's when we're doing the Jensen's cheeks. Girl, girl, boy, girl, whatever. No homo. Alright. Let's do it. Bring them cheeks down here, Jensen. Let me get you. Let me give you some of this melon. Let me give me some of this melon brand. It's a really good name. So I think there's like two more items we can get from uh, the cooler. So maybe I'll try to get those last two off camera. But I don't know. I'm getting tired, kind of tired of fighting the boss. We might need an even stronger, even stronger weapon. So it goes 10 times faster. I don't know. We do 10% more crits now. What are you doing? Stop. You just got hooked. This is where the bumping music comes in. I don't know why there's a bumping music the whole fight. But it's kind of cool when it starts bumping. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all ready? I'm about to spit some bars. I'm a fish. I don't like dick. My name ain't Trish. <laughs> all right, there you go. There's my bars. That's all you guys get. You gotta, you gotta pay me for that SoundCloud. I'll hit you with that link. I'm, sorry. I'm kidding. It's for free. Look it up. I have a sound cloud. You guys won't be uh, depressed if you look at it either. What is this? She was throwing a boomerang at us the whole time. Is this new? 
Like, she was throwing this at us, and I noticed her throwing at us. And I was going to mention something about it, but like, nah, that was always there, right? But yeah, let's pop open the bags. Oh, look at that. The boomerang is cool, but you know how it is. We're a fishing theme character in our throwing playthrough. It's already over. I don't know if that was in. Maybe it's just a rare drop. I'm pretty sure that was not in when we originally played. Grand Harpy Feather. We need this in the future, right? Yeah, for the Queen's Rose. Okay, sweet. These wings, don't know if they're better or not. They might be, because it is a pretty tough boss we just fought. I mean, anything better, I'm not saying it's not a cool idea that we can glide, but like anything's better than just gliding. Or it's like that part's cool, but look when I'm holding left. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to consciously count. Alright, so we go right up to the blacksmith. But yeah, like I was saying, I have to like conscious in my mind I have to count how long I'm flying so I don't do that weird shit. Oh, this is way better. It's like a bunch of blocks that we can fly over. So, or fly than the rock wings. I definitely fuck with the rock wings. Roke. Roke? It might be pronounced Roke. So, boom, bada, bing. Two bosses, one episode. We actually kill some bosses, believe it or not. Let's do some fishing now. Come on. We gotta do some fishing. So, after I do this fishing, I'm gonna show off the uh, worm aside. And it's full full throttle i don't know that might have been the greatest word full throttle and it's full effect full efficiency against a worm boss and that worm boss is gonna be the eater of worlds and maybe next episode we might actually be able to fight the perforator up here but the thing is i don't know if i have this stuff to spawn the perforator so we might have to wait for the uh, mutant to spawn in because once he spawns in we're good to go we can just boom bada bing just buy it i think let's head down here quick fishing for the boys i don't even need to take out the sapling because watch this wait this one watch this first try every time <clears throat> cut that cut that part first try every time cut that one too first try you know how it goes every time bro what the fuck so i don't know if we can get the absorbent sponge in pre-hard mode i think we can i don't know it doesn't seem like something that'd be op to have in pre-hard mode but there you go we did another fishing quest i have not been counting them i don't know why i did that oh new enemy my court i rarely see that enemy if not at all i don't even know if i've seen that enemy but uh let's go ahead and stash all that stuff in there probably should sell the wings yeah i'm gonna do that cough that up i'm gonna sell that um worm okay how do we do this again how do you make the eater wait no we'll just summon him manually so let's head back let us head back. I feel like we've been going through hard mode pretty slow. I'll speed it up one of these episodes. We might do like a boss rush episode. We we'll take on a bunch of bosses. What's the quest? I'll fuck. I'll fuck a cactus worm. Next episode, we'll do that. Cause I have not done an episode primarily focusing on all the worm stuff. I think I've done a stream about it, and I may have may have like peeped it. And yeah, it was during the Nunderson stream I peeped it. And I also fought it in the Yo Yo stream. But we're going to have our first like full episode against that boss. Because I have not done that yet. But let's head on over here to the left. Dude, it looks so cool having the backpack. This thing. The angler tackle box. It's really cool. There's something about it looks really cool. But yeah, let's put on this worm aside. I feel like I'm really slow now ever since I took off those wings. But uh, maybe that's just, I'm just tripping. Easily could be what's going on. I'm just tripping. I'm, I was thinking about... I was maybe i'm just tripping <laughs> all right this is the last one we have to break worm aside is equipped let's see how fat what the fuck the squirrel down there. oh my god it one tapped him before it could even latch on i mean this uh, it's kind of weird to use on a worm, worm enemy like this because he just breaks apart every time so every time you'd hit him you would kind of all right this might have been a bad example Twilight Walker was slain? Bitch, who is that? Okay, I'm gonna die, so let's... We're taking out the melons now. He thought I was playing. He was like, this boy trying to attack me with a fishing rod. But he's quivering and shivering, whatever people do. He's quivering in his boots once I whip out the melon brand. He's like, hold up. I'm allergic, I'm allergic to watermelon. Imagine being allergic to watermelon. That shit is like... Imagine being allergic to water. Imagine being named 
Herbert. All right, so we're gonna end this episode off by turning in this fishing quest and getting the absorbent sponge, obviously, right here. Damn, I wasn't even close. Frostburn Apprentice Bait. So, back to this cooler rod before we end off the episode. This is apparently used to debuff enemies. So, I want you guys to leave a comment about how, like, what situation I'd be in to use this. Like, give me the exact situation. Remember, not exact, not word for word, but give me an idea of a situation I'd have to be in to use this. Because I need to know. Because how I'm thinking of it is start a boss fight, you know, maybe have three baits equipped. Hit the boss with it. Boom, let it tick. Or I should do it like this. Hit the boss with it. Boom, let it tick. And then we switch to our actual battle rod for the fight. Is that how we do it? Am I tripping or am I, am, am I walking perfectly fine without tripping? Just uh, let me know, all right? Let me know. Let's talk to Traveling Merchant real quick before we end off. Let's just do Let's do a whole playthrough before we end. How is this man stepping on spikes? My boy, what kind of shit? What the fuck? Loneliness. Oh, yeah. He looks lonely. 